welcome back. So I just wanted to share a few little things that I got from Atlas this week and I'm so excited. I had been wanting this ink. I got the ink vent calendar last year from Diamine and Walnut was in it and I didn't even realize that you could get these until I saw somebody, they pulled an order and somebody got this on live. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want that ink so bad. So I'm so excited about this ink and I got a couple of pens. So I wanted to talk to you about the Black Friday deals that Atlas has going on right now. They have tons of doorbusters again, some last chance items and a lot of stuff on sale. The inks are, I believe, 15% off. Now, I'm not sure that the die mine are. Some of them do not apply to sale items. So, um, But the inks that are on sale, you can also stack my code, Heather Plans, and you'll save an additional 20%. Like I said, it's not on every ink. I'm not sure which ones it applies to and which ones it doesn't. You just have to check, but there are some exclusions. But we will open these pins and I will tell you a little bit about them and why I bought them. But the ink is beautiful. I can show you my swatch as well. I'm going to try to be doing things a little different, at least for that. This is a ginormous bottle and it's so pretty, but it's just a really nice brown. So I started an ink pen journal. And let me see, we'll flip through this. So this is Diamine Walnut. And then I have, I think it's inked up, yeah, in my Monteverde, Dakota. This is a writing sample of that. I don't have the pen right here with me. I wish I did actually because I just received it from Atlas as well, and it is also on sale right now, and it's beautiful. I got the raw flame version. They have a couple of different colors, but I love this one. Uh, so, yeah, I have already opened both of these pens, but I can show you. I'll put them back in their box so you guys could see them. So, I can't really do much with the Waterman with the Karen. Karen. Yeah, Corinne. But so we'll open it first and I'll tell you what happened. So this is the Waterman Corinne. It's gorgeous, by the way. Beautiful pen. It's black with, did it say palladium or something like that? Maybe it's not with this one. Maybe it's just silver. But this pen is absolutely stunning. But it came and the converter was broke, so I can't use it yet. Um, Atlas was super quick to immediately send me out a new converter with no questions asked. I mean, I did send them a picture of the broken converter, but I can't use it yet. So I did dip it and just try it, but I don't know that I got like a good sense. It's a really smooth nib. This is an 18 karat gold nib. And it's so interesting. I've never seen a nib like that before. But this came highly recommended from a lot of people. It is also on sale right now. It's about $100 off. I think it was $217 when I got it. Uh, they are like $330 regularly, I believe. So this is on sale. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold nib. So I will report back on that one once I get my converter and tell you what I think about how it writes. But we can get into the Esterbrook. This is my first ever Esterbrook. The Corinne I got in a fine nib. The Esterbrook I also got in a fine nib. All right, so this is the Esterbrook. I got it in the Botanical Gardens with gold trim. I wanted the silver trim, but they didn't have a fine nib in it. So I got it in the gold. This is a beautiful pen. I will say I'm not thrilled about all the yellow that's on this one. 
the ones that I saw online had mainly green, so I didn't even think about asking for a specific colorway. I just really wanted the green and red, but I like the yellow. It's just there's a lot of it right there in the front, but it's fine. It's a beautiful pen nonetheless. I really do like the pen, and it writes beautifully. So it has... The nib on there with the little Estabrook logo. And like I said, this is a fine nib. And I did do a little bit of a writing sample when I got it yesterday. And I put, it has Ferris Wheel Press. What did I put? Peter Moss. And I think it's a really nice color match for the green. I actually want to put Diamine Sugar Snap in it, but I'm a little nervous to do a shimmer. But the color on the Sugar Snap is, it's right here with the silver. I don't know. Yeah, I think you can see the shimmer on it. But I think that green, it's pretty much the same color as the, as the Peter Moss. Um, where is it? Yeah, as this one up here. So it's a a pretty good match for either, but I really want to try the shimmer. And I have heard that Diamond shimmers behave better. So I'm tempted, but I'm still a little nervous. So we're going to stick with the Peter Moss for now. So, but it's a beautiful, beautiful writer. It is very smooth in all of its writing. It has a beautifully smooth nib. I really am so happy with this pen. It does have like a spring-loaded cap, so you have to push it in and then screw it on. And then I think you can hear it. when it pops out. So, but it's beautiful. I am very happy. I kind of really want the Jurassic version. I think it comes out, well, it's available for pre-order now, but from some places, I think, uh, I think Atlas has it for pre-order right now. So I really want that one, but I can't justify it after I just bought all this stuff. Um, so I'm really happy with both the both of these pen purchases. I'm ecstatic, actually. I really, really like this Estabrook. I was a little worried about it because I've seen people, most people love the way that they write, but I've seen some people not really like this version, this colorway. So I was a little nervous, which, like I said, I kind of wish mine didn't have so much of this yellow, but it's a beautiful pen nonetheless, and I'm very happy with it, so I I'm not sad at all. And then the Corinne, as soon as I get my lovely converter for it, I will report back on my thoughts of that pen. The dip test proved very smooth, buttery smooth, beautiful gold nib, so... I think it'll be fine. I just didn't want to put the cartridge in it and waste it. So I just dipped it and then I cleaned it out. So, but that is my most recent order from Atlas Stationers. And like I said, make sure you check them out right now. They have huge sale going on. I think most of the sale goes on through Cyber Monday. But use my code and it'll get you an extra 20% off on most items. The exclusions do apply. I do usually have that link down below where it tells you most of the exclusions. I know it doesn't cover, um, you can't get discounts off Hobonichi. Um, oh, there are so many. Hobonichi, Diamine. I think Estabrook. I can't remember though. Maybe you can, but anything on Doorbuster, it's not working with. So Doorbuster is going to be your lowest price. So the Estabrook was $175. And they actually have a bundle coming up. 
I think it's going to be available tomorrow. So if you're looking for an Estabrook, wait until tomorrow. They have those bundles and they're 175 and you get a bunch of stuff that comes with them. Not just the pen like I did. I kind of wish I'd waited, but I'm okay with the fact that I got this pen because I really do. I love it. So, and then the ink, I love that walnut ink. It is probably one of my new favorites, brown. I didn't even really think I was a brown ink person, but I really do love it. It's gorgeous. So, but I think that is pretty much it for this one. I just wanted to pop on here and show you what I got. But definitely check out Atlas Stationers at atlasstationers.com. They are available in store at uh, in Chicago, downtown Chicago. But you can find them on all of their socials here. And then use my code HEATHERPLANS to save yourself a little bit more. Generally, my code is only for 10% off, but they have bumped it up to 20% during Black Friday. So... All right, I think that's gonna be it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and it would mean the absolute world to me if you'd consider subscribing. See you guys in the next one, bye.